An introduction to the Squirrel scripting language. What is Squirrel? Squirrel is a high-level object-oriented uh, lightweight scripting language, uh, which means that it doesn't leave a huge memory footprint. It's going to be easy to implement and uh, the syntax is pretty simplistic. So what is it used for? Well, it's mostly used for making video games. It was actually original, originally developed for making video games. And it has been used in video games such as Left 4 Dead 2, Portal 2, Super Tux, CS, and even CSGO mods. It's also used for a code editor called Codeblocks. The syntax, what does the syntax look like? Well, it's similar to Java and C++, which makes it um, pretty easy for a lot of people um, to get into. And you might wonder, what are we going to use? Uh, to run our Brux, um, not Brux code, Squirrel code. Well, we're going to use a runtime environment called Brux GDK, which is um, a game development toolkit developed by Calvin Shadewing, um, and it includes a Squirrel compiler. So you don't need to um, you don't need to download that separately. Uh, Brox GDK also has access to a few, uh, to a lot of other additional functions that I'm going to talk about later in this series. Uh, there are other ways to run Squirrel code. You don't need to download Brox GDK, but I don't know what to do with the tools provided on the official Squirrel um, website, so I'm going to I'm going to go with um, with the run uh, Brox GDK. So, what we're going to do now is that we're going to go to our preferred web browser and basically search for this page. So, it's Brox GDK by Kevin Shade Wing. You can either copy this URL, I can also leave a link in the description. And we're not going to download the source code here because this is not uh, compiled it's written in C++ so we need to download the nightly build so we click on it it's gonna say that there is a potential safety risk a security risk but we don't need to worry about that because the these files are safe there is even a game made in it um, and if you have more questions you can join the uh, SuperDux Advanced Discord server. SuperDux Advanced is a game made in uh, Brox GDK. So I'm going to allow this download. And I'm going to I'm going to extract this on the um, on the desktop. I prefer having it on the desktop. Um, let me just erase this one. So I'm going to have all my stuff on the desktop just for the sake of uh, simplicity. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to create a folder for a project and I'm just going to call it um, first squirrel um, file project. So what we're going to do next is that we're going to open the folder in VS Code. Open folder, go to our desktop. Hello there. What in the
Uh, where did it go? What the heck? Why, why, why are my files not showing? What the heck? Uh, anyways, now I open, I finally open the, um, <laughs> the folder. I have no idea what happened right there. But let's make a .nut file. I'm going to call it main.nut. So, let's for the sake of, um, for the sake of testing, let's just make a print statement, which consists of the word print, a pair of parentheses, and then uh, a pair of, uh, well, whatever these, uh, these are called, quotation marks. And I'm going to write, hello world. And then we're going to save it. Um, however, we don't have any highlighting. So, what we want to do is that we want to install an extension. So we search for Squirrel and extensions and install the... I prefer the marking bar one. I think either either of them works, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this one. So now we have some highlighting going on. We are going to open a new terminal. And to run this code, we first need to, yeah, make sure that this is it's open it's open in the correct path, which it is. It's on user folder, desktop, uh, and whatever this folder is called. And then we're gonna type in cmd to run the to run the uh, the uh, code with um, via the cmd, I guess. And you don't need to do that if you're on Linux, but if you're on Windows, it's gonna it's gonna go with um, the PowerShell by default. Uh, therefore, you need to type in CMD to make sure it runs the code in the CMD, I guess. And then you type in the file name main.nut. And what's happened right here? Well, we haven't really um, associated, if that's the right word, the um, the the squirrel file or the the dot .nut file with Brox GDK. So if you're going to have multiple versions of Brox, you need to. Um, I think you should rename the the Brox file right here to um, anything. Like this is just if you have multiple versions of Brox. But like, let's just re just name it anything. Uh, if you have more than one version, something unique, so that it doesn't use an old version of Brox. Uh, if you if you only have if you're just getting started you don't need to do that but it can be good to know simply so we're gonna open it with a preferred application and we want to go to the folder that we have on our desktop Brox nightly. And we want to open it with this, and it just ran the ran the file. Oh, actually, we need to open it. We need to check. We need to uh, check this uh, little little square over here to make it um, the preferred application. So we go again to our to our .exe file. And it finally ran. So what does that mean? Um, well, that means that every time we open this file, it's going to associate it with Brooks. And it's going to leave a little log here. And it's going to say, hello world. Um, because we printed hello world. In a you know dot not file here, um, and as I did before, you can also open it with main dot like this, 
and it's going to print hello world. So yeah, this is our first Squirrel program and this is basically everything I'm using to, to program in Squirrel with VS Code. And I think that was it. Yeah, that's basically all you need to know to get started. So, um, see you in the next part and have a good day.